and on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, the you're looking people. great. How about that? I'll say it. Yes, I'll say it. You Can look great. Thank oh, you. Can't... I'll say it. Okay. Okay. I'll say it. <laughs> Why do you actually look good? Wait. Not me looking at you and thinking, wow, she's like not disgusting. It's the not throwing up for me. Uh, it's by the, the way, lack of aspiration of my vomit while looking at you for me. It's, yeah, it's the lack of vomit production for me. Uh, by the way, if you're listening to this in the car, I have on a zip up hoodie that says Red Table Talk. And we are going to the Red Table. Actually, we are broadcasting live from the Red Table. Yes. Uh, JPS, the, honey, it's on. JPS Smith? Oh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> J- J- something public schools? Jama Pins- Pin- yeah, not actual. I mean, let's not drag her into this, but we are going to the Red Table. We are going to the Red Table. The executive uh, like director of photography for Trixie Motel season one and two works on Red Table. And he, I said, I said, you know, Katya and I talk about the Red Table all the time. And as a rap gift, he brought me this. And I, he said, incredible. I said, I wasn't sure if you wanted it. I said, am I a Nikki fan? Am I a Nikki fan? Pull, Pull up, up in, in the, the Sri Lanka. Lanka. <laughs> I was like, am I? Do you don't think I would wear a Red Table Talk no. hoodie? Look at the, look, clock the microphone color. What color is she? If She's you, a red circle. If you red watch, circle. <laughs> if you watch every episode of Bald and Beautiful, there is a Red Table that's been inching into frame one millimeter at a time. Mama, Give it a green, year. Red green color blindness. Red green color blindness. Once you regain, once you achieve wisdom, that green invisible table will turn red and you will be gagged. Totally. <laughs> well, when we have other guests, like when I had Kathy and you had Natasha, yeah. that's our red table talks because <laughs> we have yes. someone else and we're like, so when would the trauma begin? Well, you know? it's funny because she was redheaded and I was red faced because I was so nervous doing with Natasha and you were so funny. That, that TikTok of you with the, um, oh, uh, uh, I, had, I got married in Italy. And she's yeah, he's like, like, wait, you do, do it. I'll do her. He's like, I got married in Italy. Did I say you copied my wedding? Who sang at my wedding? Andrea Bocelli. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah, so, she was a great I don't guest. even know the meme. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's, and then, and then. Oh, yeah. It's so funny. Classic. Then she went down to, Memes. she was making a TikTok in the, in the parking structure of this building. She was in the trash can. She was really <laughs> giving your tea. She climbed in the trash can and she was in a red sequin suit. <laughs> Let's celebrate that. Kathy Griffin, you've you've uh, secured a lifelong fan in me, baby. Kathy Lee Gifford A. Kathy <laughs> Kathy Lee Griffin. Kathy, Kathy Lee, Lee Griffin Griffith. came down. Kathy, yeah. Kathy Lee Griffith. Yeah. Kathy. <laughs> You know, I'm excited for- Love t- Kathy. <laughs> I'm excited after this because I got two 6 p.m. tickets to see the fucking Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the new Hunger Games movie, and I'm horny. Guess who's horny, honey? Guess who's pussy's wet, honey, for the new Hunger Games movie, baby? I'm so horny for it. I'm going to walk in there with a big fucking purple, purple Trimex log. Tape- <laughs> A log. Tape, duct tape to your leg oh. so it doesn't cut, doesn't move. And then the duct tape's going to give <laughs> oh. while I'm trying to get in the seats and I'm going to hit someone in the face and go, oh, sorry. And they're going to die. They're going to die. <laughs> and the whole time the movie is playing, my dick is going to be in Whack. danger of, if you're having an erection longer than four hours, go to the hospital. Priapism, priapism, how do you call it? Priapism. Pri- I do have to, I knew you wouldn't go and I knew you wouldn't care because this movie's almost three hours long. Sweetie. A YA darling, movie. Tootsie. Baby. Baby. Honey. Honey, darling, baby, sweetie, to sweet home Alabama, Reese Witherspoon. And I'm going to say this. I love The Hunger Games. Mm-hmm. I know. I know this didn't have to be a three-hour movie. I know it. We all know it. We it's all know it. Because at three hours- Come to the red table. Come you better be Titanic. Sit down at the You red better table. be gone with the wind. You got to earn Put your hands three on the hours. red table. Feel the red table. Feel the, feel the red belt. Feel the red table. I wish Jada Pinkett Smith on the red table talk. Every episode, she had an actress and said, why was your movie so long? So let's talk about the elephant in the room, the length of your movie. Thank you. <laughs> Jada's like, I was in Scream 2. An hour, 30 minutes. Yeah. Perfect length. Yeah. What do you have to say? Yeah. So justify the... the <laughs> totally. Uh, we should I have a show so where many, we just have actors oh who've been in long movies so and we make them explain questions. themselves. So Marty Scorsese. I actually, you know what? He's the only one I will not come for because guess what? He produces masterpieces. Sorry or, about it. Or Sorry Quentin about Tarantino. It. Uh, yeah, I've never felt part, like one yeah. of his movies was long. I, I have not either. There, there are there are uh, some exceptions. However, for example, just throwing it out there, not to be, not to hate on women, but Portrait of a Lady on Fire, um, uh, Celine Shimia, I believe. I don't know how to say her name. Sorry. Um, it, this was heralded as the critics as a perfect like, perfection, tour de force, a masterpiece of cinema. Cinema, Mama. While every frame was indeed. Gorgeous. Mm-hmm. You 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 st- just still a printout, hang it up on your wall. As a film, <laughs> shh, 
boring boots. Do you like cartoon sleeping? Like, me, 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 yes, yes, yes. Shoe, me, 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 Todd Haynes's May December, a feature film featuring Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman, out right now in theaters. Oh, did you watch it? I sure did. Did you live? I know I did not. In fact, I did the opposite the, of live. The, the trailer made it seem so promising. That's the fun thing about trailers. They lie. <laughs> they lie. They do lie. How about oh, that? No. So we're, we're doing runtime, and we're doing trailers at the red table so, talk. Because the trailer, oh, which mama, I've the seen, trailer. the trailer promises it to be. It, 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 the kids are all right. The kids are the, right. We, we we need to talk about Kevin. We, yes, we, um, it, um, uh, the fabulous Ms. a little bit. Hand the rocks the cradle. Oh, oh, I wanted Mama. If you a little bit, Mama. If you if you dangle Miss De Rebecca De Mornay, hand the rocks the cradle in front of me. With a there was a there was an inhaler, a single white female a little bit. Mama, all of these things you're mentioning are gripping psychological dramas involving complicated female characters. Sign me up. This was nothing of. The sort, and I am very familiar with Miss Todd Haynes and her work. Who's Todd Haynes? Todd Haynes is a director who has done *Far from Heaven*, Julian Moore, a, a, like a period piece, like an homage to um, classic uh, '50s cinema, where the, there's a gay storyline, like an overwrought oh, melodrama. Okay, stylized, interesting. He also did *Safe* with Julian Moore, which is a complicated, not very. It's a, it's a complicated, kind of a slog. Interesting, interesting, but not. Pulse pounding thriller by any means. Okay. This movie was fucking boring, bitch. No. It sucked. I, I will say it. Julianne Moore. And you went in hopeful. I, I went in hopeful. I went am in. Am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> am I a Julianne am I, fan? Am I a Natalie fan? <laughs> yeah. my, pull up in the Annihilation. Pull up in the Garden State. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne. Girl, pull up in the uh, Boogie Nights. <laughs> Pull you, up in the Hannibal. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> if there was somebody who was going in, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. It was you. I was rooting for the three of those motherfuckers. And guess what? The the only and this is so this is so typical. And maybe it speaks to my fucking horrible, stupid, prejudiced experience. But the only saving grace of this fucking film was that when one of the characters was fucking another character and he pulled out, you saw his hard dick. It was a shadow, but it was proportionate. Gertie, James, what was James, that? Yeah, James, what was what that? Was that? <laughs> James, <laughs> that was me. I, and then I, at the AMC, it, it, it jostled me out of my slumber. I was like, <sniffs> and I was like, you were almost like, and then I, is this movie so boring that I wished a dick into it? Is that what happened? Could have been rewriting history in real time. <laughs> it's like, it, it was it, and then it ended, and I could not. I could Mimi. I'm reconcile. first, set third in the voting. I could, I could not, not believe it. <laughs> It was. It just. They come up to you. It's one a.m. at the AMC. The movie ended two years ago. You grafted to the fabric. Yeah. They I'm go, like, sir, and you go, oh, oh, it can't be over. Oh yeah. Also, don't misgender me. Thank you. <laughs> you cross your leg. It's a pump. You said, don't misgender me. A gas pump. You know. <laughs> Mama, wait, hold on. One last thing. A button. A little button for this movie. Todd Haynes, I got your number, hussy. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's well, I it. hope I have a different experience at Ballad of Songbirds and Stakes. Brock, not Brock saw it today. He said, I think he, he, he said Viola eight. Yeah, I'm down. normally, I, listen, when you're an adult, I'm 34, when mm. you go to see a YA thing, you're, you you're do, a groomer. Well, <laughs> I, well, I don't want it to be Twilight, but even when I watched Twilight, I was like, this isn't for me. Okay. I'm just going to watch it through the lens of it's not but for me. But that's a bad movie. Young right. people, movie, Hunger Games is great. Movies towards, uh, geared towards younger people do not mean bad it does they don't have to be watered down or, or you know it doesn't have to be a fucking x-rated thrill slasher movie movie to be like good. right although thanksgiving was lit well um, some ya things are i was just watching okay i just watched home alone again and i went david this movie is impressive because even though the primary character is a kid and the whole movie is the lens of a kid as an adult i don't feel like i'm watching a kid's movie right, yeah it's pretty amazing yeah and then the hungry Games movies it did feel like but, why a story, but as an adult, you're invested. It's a story, well, but a family. Also, and it's also about like, um, there's a, there's a, a lot of big themes going on, right? right? The metaphors of like capitalism and eat or be eaten yeah. or like, you know, the it's corrupt like the running power. Man. The running man. You ever seen that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? The old eighties movie, the running man. Yes, 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 yes. Fucking fierce. Well, it fierce. made me think, well, and it also, it's Pardon sort me, of like crack open anything like battle Royale, squid game, anything that's the oh, themes yes. of like people, Lord of the, Ra or Lord of the flies, not dog, Lord, eat yeah. dog shit, yeah. love uh, yellow jackets where mm. it's like, you know, internal totally. cannibalization. Yeah. But I watched something called the squid game game. The okay. Do you remember is, June squib yeah, games? <laughs> okay. June squib. June squib. June squib. <laughs> so there's June squib games. And now there's a show that is a competition 
show it's just the squid. where they pretend to be. They're in the track suits. They're playing red light, green light, but they don't get shot. James. They have a device <laughs> that goes off and black fluid shoots out of their chest and they fall. These are not actors. They fall down dead. But they're not good actors. So like it's like the boom be ba be ba boom yeah, yeah, yeah. the the red light green yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. And some of them, if they die, their chest thing goes off. And, and instead of an award-winning like actor going the, for it, uh, it's like your aunt Stephanie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her thing goes off and she's like, Oh crap, I gotta oh, die lay now. down. But then some of them are invested. Some of them, as they die, they're crying like they're dying. It's community for real. theater. It's the, community theater, Mary. It's community the theater. The community Les theater Miserable. presents. It's waiting for Guffman. But I also thought, if Corky this, Saint Clair. If this series was about, like, being critical of systems that are about people reaching for money because the systems keep them down, we're actually now watching people compete for money. It felt anti the the message it's of the also, show. Yeah, it's also like okay. This late capitalist um, uh, satire. Now we're going Not to make so another version. Yeah, I know. Not so but late. Now we're going to make a, a, a late capitalist. We're, we're going to make a, a a version of it that's that defeats. The, oh my god! I like, can't and the, the, they're like asking Jesus the contestants, Christ. like, "What would you do with the money?" Because they win four point eight six million dollars, the most money ever awarded on reality TV. Oh, so that's it's what they're oh, so, playing for. Oh, so it's not okay. Which, by the way, I looked it up. The government, it's count as, it counts as lottery winnings. 40% of that is 1.6. Mm -hmm. The government would take $1.6 million of that. Get into love, that. Love. Which government? Korean or US? The Republic of Chad. <laughs> Chad. Not the country, just Chad. a bunch of like uppity blonde white guys. <laughs> Chads. Yeah. Just redheads with real yeah. bad personalities. <laughs> but I was you're right. It's a critique on like late stage capitalism, but then we're watching it. It's a damning it. critique. And and then and then and then yeah. now we're just playing. And in it, the interviews, they're like, well, my dream with this money would be to pay off my house. I mean, is that even a realistic dream? And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> so by dystopian future, we meant 18 months from yeah, now. Yeah, utopian future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we meant <laughs> soon. soon. Today's episode of Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by Better Help. Listen, it's the end of the year. I know people who are losing their jobs. I know people who are splitting time with their children. I know people who just the weather change, the t I telling you in Los Angeles, even the hour time change, I feel like has everybody in a bad spot. This time of year can be a lot and it's natural to have sadness or anxiety about it, but adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot amid everything. I know for me, that day of the week where I have my better help appointment, I look forward to just being able to release pressure on a lot of things and just unload on my poor unsuspecting, well, suspecting counselor because he knows who I am by now. I've used better help on my computer, my phone, my iPad. I have used better help. And what I also like about it, let's say you're somewhere where you can't necessarily do video. You can just do a phone appointment. Some days you could even opt for just like IMs. Like if I was on a plane somewhere, I could do a better help appointment just being able to message using the plane's Wi-Fi. And that makes me feel secure. I've benefited from therapy just because it's amazing sometimes how extreme things feel. And then when they come out, they don't feel so crazy. And then sometimes things that sound like no big deal, I say them out loud to someone. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm allowed to feel that that was weird because that was weird or that was hard or that was crossing a boundary. I'm telling you, getting it out of your mouth and into somebody else's ears and having them sometimes even rephrase it back to you puts it all in perspective. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online. It's convenient. It's flexible. And it's suited to your schedule. I have never had the same appointment time twice. And it, that's what works for me because I have a busy schedule. You guys know I have 45 careers. I have taken better help appointments at my condo in Milwaukee, at my studio in LA, at my house in LA. I've even taken one from the makeup company once in the office. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch at any time for no reason and no charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today and get 10% off your first month. I know the code works because I used it. Betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Was Squid Game a trailer for this? There you go. Back to trailers. Fucking A, bitch. I need so trailer. So the the fake, I don't know if you remember the double feature talking about long run times. I didn't see it as a double feature. No, I did. I saw Death Proof and Planet Terror in the theater. Me too. A, oh, you did. So you definitely saw the the trailer for Thanksgiving. Yes. The fake trailer for it. White meat, dark meat, all will be carved. 
Yes. This Thanksgiving. Thanks, You'll go home. Thanks killing. In a body bag. No, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It was just called Thanksgiving. Remember it had, famously had the, the girl jumping on the trampoline, doing the spritz, with a knife, and the knife going in the pussy. Um, you'll go home in a body bag. It was like the, that, that like very funny low voice. It's like that low yeah, Joni voice. Like, like budget. This Thanksgiving. Movie. You'll go home in a body bag. Uh-huh. Obsessed. Of course, cut to what? I don't know. 10 years later. Yeah. Um, Eli Roth makes the fucking movie. I am so pumped up. I see no promotion for it except a billboard on sunset. No promotion. I was like, this can't be real. I guess it's real. Addison fucking Ray. The Excuse one from me. He's All That? Yes. The young woman, the TikToker from He's All That. Honey, ate her dinner in this film. Really? I didn't even know it was her. I'm sorry. I resent everything. Because we did not live for No, no, we did not live for her. But guess what? You first At first you don't succeed. Try and try again. And this, this young lady, this young lady sure did arrive at that table and went chomp, chomp. Chomp, 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 Then she chomp, got chomp. up on top of it and Mama expelled her expelled, bowels. And then she went over to the other plate and said, ooh, not eating that, <laughs> chomp. She went over to the other side, chomp. She said, no leftovers, because I chomp, chomp, chomp. One of those baby dolls that, that was recalled for eating kids' hair, just eating the chomp. hair all over the scalp. She And I don't even, I, I can't even be 100% clear on which character she was. That's how good she was. And, and she was, she, she ate. I'm sorry about it. I don't care if anybody has a different opinion. She was... I trust you. I was not a fan of, of she, he's all that or she's all that or whatever the fuck that no. was on Netflix. But you know what? This movie was so. Well, we don't exactly get shown the creme de la creme of things. We're not I know. getting. They're not. We're not getting. We're not tweeting like Martin Scorsese's new the Irishman. Yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> seated like- <laughs> for no country for old men. Seated. Girl, I would be seated and gooning and fapping to that one. Do you love when people tweet seated for blank? The I, movie? I do. And I like also lensed by. Lensed by. <laughs> lensed by. Seated love. by and lensed for. Yes. <laughs> um, but the, I'm seated and I'm lensed and I'm horny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> horny Holland. Horny Holland. Seated for the Irishman. <laughs> um, but I have a question for you. I want you to think about this. So the, the Thanksgiving, not to give anything away, was a... It was an incredible slasher film with incredible, gory, nasty, creative, unique kills. Uh, one more exciting than the next. Um, obviously by Eli Roth, who's a who's a horror aficionado because he knows what you're expecting. He does something else. What other things does he make? Hostel. Oh, okay. You know he's he's he was in uh, he was actor in um, Inglorious Bastards. He was oh, the wow. bear Jew, the Jew bear or whatever. Um, anyway, he's done a lot of stuff. Um, oh, the Jew bear. Yeah, yeah. Hot, Mary. Hot, Hot honey. Oh, he was also in Death Proof. Honey, yeah. Remember, he's in the scene where he's like, we're going to get him a little drunker and take him home. Oh, yes. Really. He's hot. Two-hander. Those big eyebrows. I'm a two-hander. Can't, can't reach the... Soup cans. Yeah, two soup cans. Soup kitchen time. Yeah. Slurp, slurp at the soup kitchen. <laughs> Monster energy drink. Honey, two, big, two of them. thick, long yeah. cans. <laughs> Double barrel. Honey, it's pipe pipes. Uh, girl, <laughs> it's a can, yeah. can of gasoline. That big red square with the yellow tube. It's the tube at the bank, honey. <laughs> baby, baby doll. <laughs> Uh, Baby, it's, 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 it's a an oil tanker. <laughs> it's a rig. It's a rig it's in the middle of the ocean. It's a sixteen wheeler in the middle of the ocean. Okay, six- we don't know. We don't know. We're speculating, but we know. But we do know is that sometimes you just know. I, I, <laughs> that's like he, when people are like, oh. well, well, then when people are like, he took out his dick, and I was surprised by its smallness or bigness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, don't you read vibes? Don't you? Don't you have X-ray psychic? Oh, see, I, I... I'm usually pretty right about that stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, and I don't care either way. Right, right. Give me your giant massive Godzilla dick. Give me your baby dick. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Said the groomer. Said the groomer. <laughs> no, but listen. So, so this was... I, but I... This movie was so bloody, so nasty, so awesome, so thrilling. And a pretty clear-cut, uh, thrilling revenge tale, which was so... Oh, so... I, I need a lack... In, in my horror movies nowadays, I need a revenge fantasy that has good good guys and bad guys and no ambiguity. There's too much going on in the world right now for me for there you, to you be need pirates yeah. and like, you I, know, I, I, know I, need, Pan. I need, I know that's even too much. I need like you killed my family. So I'm going to kill you now. That's it. Right. Like, I just need, okay, this person was wronged rightly. They're going to get their just desserts, whatever. That's what I need. This is kind of pretty much what you get. Also with a uh, saw 10, that's exactly what you got, but a little complicated anyways. So I just wish that instead of all of the ways that we depict violence, represent violence in the ju- juiciest, goriest, nastiest way, what if we did that with sex? Mainstream. Mm. I'm not talking about porn. Of course we've done that. But that's private, personal. Shh, shh. I'm talking about mainstream representation. I know, but what? But Mary, you know that what, there's, what? What? There's discourse now about how if there's sex in movies, it's 
it, it, it shouldn't be there. So that is exactly what I'm saying. But we have no problem. There is no, I, I could not but wonder, while well, I'm clack, clack, clacking at my laptop in 1996, a la Carrie Bradshaw, well, I could not but wonder, why is there no discourse about the dumpster that cut, sawed off a woman's body in half, and then her lower half was placed on the spike of a front of a store, vagina slammed onto the spike for everybody to see. That's okay. But I can't see some titties. My children can't see some titties, the same titties that they sucked on to get their life nourishing milk when they were young or they would have died. Huh. Red table talk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, I get it. Like, but, but, but I, I also think what the fuck? any of, I think any amount of, amount of censorship is stupid. Like in movies, the fact that on TV, we even bleep an F word. You think I don't know at a five-year-old, you don't think I know that they're saying Fuck. I know. You but, think I don't know that? But but words are words though. Words are arbitrary. These these breasts are real. And they're like, they're a part of life. And but that we don't want that axe into that person's head. That's something we don't want. We do want breasts. We yeah. want breasts to give to get sucked on and licked and and, and rubbed on and, and whatever and felt up and and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. and sh- whatever. Of all shapes. I think people think that we want if, women to squirt. I think people think that if a kid sees boobs or something. I don't know what will happen. Mama, I don't know what will happen. Guess what? They see them. They see them when they breastfeed from their mama's titties. Huh? Yeah. They're like, I just saw them. Mama, they saw them and they sucked on them. And what? Oh, <gasps> Think about that. If you're like a young straight guy, the first time you put a titty in your mouth, you're like, oh my God, this is my first time sucking on a titty. No, it isn't. The first one's your mom, bitch. Mama, yeah. Talk about that, red table. Girl. <laughs> Jada you were riding on her back. She threw it over her shoulder and you mm-hmm. sucked on it like it was a camel backpack. Bam. The remix. <laughs> Long stringy titties, <laughs> but so, so I was like thinking about like all this creativity, all of this, the um, the 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 cinematic tradition because it goes. I mean, you know, we've been doing it for almost I don't know, almost a hundred years of violence in movies, and like there's the creativity, there's a reinvention, there's um, there's such a, an ingenuity and, and a, um, inventiveness with it, how to depict it, how to represent it. If we had been doing that with sex rather than violence, mama, not only would we have been liberated. But there would be no war. There'd be no war. It would just be a race to see, hey, how fucking, I, I bet I can squirt more than you can, bitch. And you're like, oh, oh, you think so, Deborah? I'm like, yes, Diane, I do. Philip, get a couple of empty jars. Okay, it's squirting time. <laughs> and people are like, this is stepmom. Yeah, exactly. This like, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, is this, this is stepmom happening? part three. This is, this this is, is stepmom part three, the remix. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, Waterworld. Yeah. Honey, not Kevin Costner. Susan Sarandon. Mad Max Fury River. I, I, I was watching some straight porn, and one of the scenarios I scrolled across was what Granny kind of picks up unhoused teen and teaches him how to have sex. Let's take a break. I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. I folded my dick up like origami, and I put it away in the sock drawer. You have a, I said, a letter to daddy. We're writing it all wild. Girl, like... I know, it, I know in, in gay world we do falsum, we do piss in the face, whatever, <laughs> but straight people, yes. girl, woo, like straight people, woo. the scenarios where it's like, it's like those, it's like stepmom, but my granddaughter just got home. It's right lo-fi my, beats. It's, it's lo-fi it's beats. It's lo-fi beats. It's lo-fi beats. It's lo-fi beats. Yeah. Um, getting put under at the dentist when right before he reaches his hand down yeah, my yeah, pussy, yeah. my ex comes in yeah. and they get in a fight and fuck in front yeah. of me. It's, it's like it's the detective. It's it's the, the the footage, the CCTV footage sent to Italy of me getting assaulted at the dentist yeah. because Hannibal Lecter was in, in the area at the time. Sponsored by CapCut. <laughs> yes. Vertical. Yeah, vertical. Vertical in, video. In, in backwards. Yes. <laughs> So I have to tell you about something that happened. I told you a little bit on the phone. Wait, I'm going to check my notes too because I made notes. I did make notes. I did something so horrible. Podcast topics. Thank you. I've been taking notes too because even I'm disappointed in us. Like, <laughs> Wait, these are from, oh no, these are from the show. Hold on. Oh, Cole Escola's Our Home Out West. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. Mama, but- let me uh, get ready. Take a big sip and get ready to prick those ears up because I'm going on a diatribe. Tell me. We get Thanksgiving, so I hosted at my house. You did not show up. That's fine. Okay. Um, I did something really underhanded, which was to go be with my family. And that was wrong of me. I'm sorry. And I'm never going to forget it. You're like, what about I'm your never, chosen family? I will forgive you, but I'll never forget it. No. Um, so Andrew, and I, and I, it's hard to keep pin me down. When I have guests over, I love to wander. I love to wiggle. I love to be alone. 
I love to just like <laughs> no because it's you, like you guys are coming up. Thanks for coming over. Anyway, have a great night. And you just go to your room and close the door. No, I don't close the door, but <laughs> I kind of wander. You know what I mean? I go up, down. I'm all around. You're in the shower. I did take a shower. <laughs> I did take a shower. I was in the shower while guests arrived. Love. I, I came out wet with the towel. I was like, Christine. <laughs> so anyways, he, Andrew literally had to. Christine, you're like, his, 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 he's like, my name's Andrew. <laughs> <That's Eric>. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew literally had to, um, he had to do everything but go grab me by the ear and sit me down in the, in the thing to turn on Cole's thing. And I know Cole is great. Well, you're an entertainer, but you're not necessarily an entertainer. I'm not an entertain. I, I'm hard to be entertained. Well, you're not Martha Stewart. Of course. Am I a Nikki fan? I mean, am I a Martha you're fan? You're Patrick Stewart. Am I a Martha fan? Actually, mama, ask me if I can fold a fitted sheet. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Can you me. fold a fitted yes, sheet? Yes, I sure the fuck can. Exactly the way Martha Stewart cannot. She humiliated this woman on her show. Watch it. Look it up. Fold a fold fitted sheet, Martha Stewart. She had a, a, an expert who could do it. And then she had a guest from the audience who couldn't do it. And she humiliated this woman. She humiliated this woman. It's like, look at you. you she, it was fierce. But Martha so couldn't do it either. She couldn't do it either? No, of course she didn't. Of course she didn't. Fucking bitch. Love her. Glass Love. houses. Honey, Snoop Doggy Dog. If you're going to read people, <laughs> you better come in there and it better look, it better be a paper crane. It better be Mama, perfect. You don't even do that. You say, this is my fitted sheet. You pull it out from under the thing. I, oh, I, I found you know it I mean? earlier before you guys got here. Exactly. It's like, my souffle was made less this, just this morning. Today's episode is brought to you by Rakuten, the most rewarding way to shop and save because our members earn cash back on everything they buy. Rakuten is a shopping platform that partners with over 3,700 stores across every category. Beauty, clothing, electronics, home, department stores, pets, anything you would already be shopping for at your favorite stores. Why not doing it while saving a little bit? It's a no-brainer. Sephora, Macy's, Ulta, Nike. I mean, I run through my running shoes. Like I'm very faithful about replacing them. Expedia, Best Buy, you know, Dave and I just bought a home Best Buy. Like we, we end up buying a lot of stuff from Best Buy. What I love about Rakuten is there's just some boring stuff that I'm probably like setting powder, makeup wipes. There's beauty stuff that it's not exactly fun to shop for. I buy it over and over and over again. Why not save a little money? You can shop through Rakuten for everyone on your gift list this season. Earn cash back on clothing for clothes, people, fashionistas, toys and games for kids, electronics for your, uh, honestly, I shop for myself. I'm a tech person. Kitchen and home essentials for hosting. I mean, if you're already shopping for this stuff, why not get a little cash back? Get cash back at over 3,700 stores across every category. For me, if you ever catch me running, I'm a Nike person. I love being able to just look for deals at Nike. Start all your shopping trips at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Your cash back really adds up. Thank you again to Rakuten for sponsoring today's episode. Anyways, long story short, Cola Skull is our home out west, a 30-minute masterpiece. I can't wait to see it. It's every single second is beautiful, fabulous, funny, poignant, actually poignant. I mean, I almost cried, Mary. He's amazing. He's a genius. And Macy Rodman, I'll, I'm not going to give it away. Macy Rodman is, have, is featured as a whore. And she says, well, they need more girls who know how to felch without throwing up. <gasps> <laughs> and then she goes, what? <laughs> Her line delivery is just like, that's, the, that's Macy. You know what I mean? That's, I can't that's, wait to see it. The cover art. She, honey, first of all, I know it's supposed to be funny. He looks beautiful. Mama, the nerve of her. <laughs> she looks you, beautiful. I'm gonna talk to. I'm talking to you, Cola Scola. The nerve of you to put on lipstick, and that's it. And look great. Not like, great. Not great. Gorgeous. Uh, right. I don't think a Those razor has. Eyes. Mama, I don't think a razor has ever touched that skin. She has like a demi lash on on the cover. Like it's like nothing. A demi lash. Like lashes. Like baby individual lashes. I don't think she even has lashes on. She's got a pencil thin brow. She's got full, maybe half, like she's got bare minerals, a little bit of blusher, a red, red lip. And the cunt that she serves is so fucking, there's, she comes out in this red dress and then a pink gauzy scarf. And I'm like, everybody, every faggot in the room was like, <gasps> like it was so cunty. And, and it's just so funny. Amy Sedaris is in it. It, um, it. it is just, it's just perfection. It's perfection. It's perfect. Is it, where's it available? 
YouTube oh, for, for free. free. Watch it on YouTube for free, people. I, Mimi, I'm first, third in the voting. I could not, could not believe it. it. Yeah. It was, it was, I mean, the, I, in, I don't want to gas it up of, so In much. the time of Disney Plus being about $75.99 a week. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what a rated it is? PG, of course. PG. Wow. I, th I think, actually. Maybe not, I'm not They sure. say Felch and it's PG. What's Felch mean? We don't know. Exactly. The government Thank doesn't you. tell us. But they don't say fucked, I don't think. They oh my god, there's a there's a moment where this um this guy has a he, he What's the premise? Our home out west. Um so I'm not even gonna tell you. you okay, you, I'm gonna watch it's it. It's a western. It's a it's a western. Okay, that's and, and all you need to know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a western. It's um it's a beautiful and it's a child. It's just oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. It's so good. And it's actually there's a moment where she's uh teaching a lesson to this young boy, and it's done in a way that is, it is so beautifully poignant. And, and this is a extremely funny satire that is like so many layers of comedy, slapstick, absurd, bizarre, um, dirty, dirty, pouty mouth, um, double entendres, triple entendres, whatever, whatever. And then, and then it has this moment of sincerity where she teaches people, where she teaches a boy why some people are intolerant. And it's like, like dab, dab, and then boom, you can't cry because there's another joke. It's fucking fierce. I loved it so much. In 30 minutes, we love short. Sweetie, that was We it. love short. 30, gorgeous, perfect If I added the minutes. Titanic, it would have been 25 minutes. 22 with the commercials. <laughs> 22 with the commercials, sitcom. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my 22 God. and a half. Iceberg. Uh, and then we go, yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You would go to a commercial break and they would be just getting on the ship and after commercial break, they'd be floating on the door. Yeah, no, she'd be like, be, she would, the old woman would just go... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to recap something that occurred a couple weeks ago, which is I was waiting outside my therapist's house and I had to pee so bad. <laughs> I had to pee so bad. I wasn't sure I wanted to share this story, but I was thinking about it today and I was like, I no, 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 no. Don't share the story. No, no, no. You need to write. No, this needs to be. No, no. We're this... taking your headphones off. Work. We can still hear you. <laughs> We're not off the air That's because you took no, off the it, headphones. If I can hear it, nobody can. <laughs> You have to save this story. It's too good. Okay. Well, then, well, you know what? Maybe some other point for the Patreon. Not that I'm going to let one. you. I'm going to let them, the listeners that know at home that I heard this story on the telephone. I called you because you're and the only person. I, I hope you take this the right way. I know. I know. I know. I know I went, exactly. Who no, can mama, I tell mama, that has been through something e worse? E.T. Right and here. I called you. And what I had done was so. So flagrantly bizarre. And, and so and, sex offendery. But um, without being. It was so John Waters-ish. It was so genitals in public. It was, it was, it was John Waters-esque. Yes, like, yes, This is part was. of a John Waters movie. And because of the nature of it, I had to be so casual while it was happening. Like from the neck up, you would think I was daydreaming, but there was it other was, stuff it going was on. It was Lynchian. It was the perfect, it was David Lynch and John Waters and, and then you. It was Waterworld. <laughs> it was don't get away, life. don't get away. Okay, I'll because, tell later. Because you know why? This is going to be the oh, the cold open of a, of a, film, <laughs> a feature film. And I, I don't care if you write it or I write it or somebody else write it. it it's brilliant. It is going, you can't tell the story, I promise I'll me. just say that it ends with David asking me, why is there a huge hole in your underwear? Okay, and perfect, I said, perfect. I don't know. Leave it at that, leave it at that. I just said, I don't know, leave because it at even that. he doesn't know. It's so fucking fierce. The secret life of pets. Mama, the secret, the, the, the divine secrets of the PP sisterhood. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Next. Next okay. topic. Um, I have to tell you about this. Uh, do you know about? There's a TikTok thing going around. So I don't know anything about okay. TikTok. I'm sorry. So apparently, straight guys. Oh God. Here we spend go. Spend a lot of time oh. thinking about the Roman Empire. There's been a trend of of girls going to their boyfriends. Hey, just casually. Do you ever think about the Roman Empire? And the straight guys are going. All the time. That's so funny. You say that all the time. Apparently, straight guys think about it a lot. They walk into a room with like a pillar, and they're like Roman Empire. They walk in a room with a bath. They're like, oh my God, Roman baths. Straight guys are obsessed with the Roman empire. I don't believe why? It. I don't believe this for a second. Here's why. Here's why. So I'm not to be a cynic and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to know, but you honestly, I don't trust, I don't trust anything from online. Oh, like not, TikTok not, okay, boomer. Yes. Because, only because I know that. Um, I know from, I know from personal experience that my social media, my curated social media reality has no bearing whatsoever proportionally or re to reality itself. So whatever the algorithm, whatever, you know, the algorithm blah, 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 of whatever social media platform is, is feeding me, curating for me. I have to, I intrinsically know to, or I, I intuitively know to mistrust, not, not trust that because it's all I need is three instances. And then it's a confirmed, not only a fact, it's a commandment for in the Bible. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, if, no. If I see three things, Three rumors online. 
It's oh, true now. Oh, mama, it's not only true. It's like I like it, it was like you with Oprah. You 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 were like you were next to Oprah, then you were on top of Oprah, right. and then you were fucking Oprah, and now you and Oprah were married. You know, it's, right. the, it's the whole thing. I don't need a lot to help me convince convince me of untruths or false truths or whatever. Well, the other thing people are saying on TikTok, I guess there's a movement that Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie's just mid looks wise, which is so fascinating and crazy and incredible and wild. <laughs> So it's like people, it's like people on a, people on a green screen being like, everybody says she's pretty, but actually she's really mid and here's mid why. Mid come because uh, the only thing mid she's street. mid is oh, ropes, oh, ropes, ropes. She's, she's ropes. mid, Nerds ropes. she's um in the middle of a stream of cum flowing from every <laughs> single person's pussy and dick. And dick. <laughs> and those without genitals. There's cum everywhere. Asexuals are gagged by her. People with vasectomies. Thank you. Come <laughs> watching her. People with vasectomies do come. They just don't have any swimmers. There's still cum that comes out. Yeah, I thought nothing came out. No, no, I didn't that, know that. No, no, no. That would be so a still uh, cum? that would be a castrato. Like if the if you were, take a, the balls off. I thought when you had a vasectomy, nothing came out. No, no. The, you just um, vasectomy is just uh, no more swimmers. No, you can't get somebody pregnant. Oh, my grandpa called. Reversible. My grandpa called it shooting blanks. Exactly, but you're wow. still shooting. Vasectomies are reversible. Honey, sweetie, darling, here's my theory. Here's if I were the president, okay, Madam President, I would do this. No more dry. Okay, cars illegal. Number one, we would we would ramp up. We'd use all the money from the defense department to do trains. Mama, the fiercest trains you've ever seen in your life. Three, no more driver's license. Instead, we would have every man not circumcised at birth, vasectomy at birth, and then upon eighteen or twenty-one or whatever age, the ovary having um, depart um, uh, health secretary decides. They can reverse that after taking a, a long t- battery of tests and showing proof of income and, and a, a five-year plan to raise a child. Well, does that sound like fascism? It, it's, I don't think, I don't think. It's just a rough rubric. It's just an outline. It's a but slippery I, slope of like body autonomy, except men, fuck you and your dick. It's oh, a, it's a, it's a. But mama. I think we got to reverse the curse. I think a little revenge is in order if we're talking like fantasy utopias. Because you know what? They pierce baby's ears at the hospital. Mama, Might as well do the vasectomy. Sweetie. Circumcision in general. What are we doing? I'll tell you what we're doing. What are we're we chopping, doing? We're mutilating little boys' penises. Why? Because that's, Why? A, well, they're, that's for, that's, I would invite the um, audience, listening audience to Google it and do their own little research because- I'm not saying, is it right or wrong? I'm saying- no, it's wrong. I'm saying, I'm saying it's why wrong. Why did it start? Well, Whose idea was Honey, this? it's a long, 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 long history, okay? It's too it's much too complicated for us as comedian fools to get into, but I do encourage people to do their own research and then have a discussion among themselves because not only is it baby genital mut- mutilation, I mean, that's what it is. We're mutilating. I mean, I was circumcised. But I wish I wasn't. What? There's, we, we don't have to answer that question. We just, we just need to move on because it's way too complicated. Okay. It basically so that my I'm going to do some, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I encourage it. you to do it. Because I'm going to do what we would do. I'm going to do, what I'm going to, I'm going to read a couple articles and, and then, then become an oppressively expert. informed expert yes. about this. And then you'll be, any person you talk to be like, did you know that I know some facts you definitely don't know about? Well, I'm going to spit in your ear if for I'm 20 anywhere, minutes. If someone yeah. says circumcised and I'm going to go, actually, <laughs> what do you real? I'm, like, it's going to be. Yeah. People are going to want me around even less than they do now. <laughs> um, my other thing I wanted to bring up was I found it on the internet that a lot of people's hamsters have gone up Richard Gere's ass. No. Okay. They hibernate in the winter. They hibernate. And a lot of people don't know that. And so they're, they're, they're hamster. They're throwing they away dead. dead they're and throwing they throw away it away while it's sleeping in the winter. Oh, that's sad. So this is just a PSA. If you have a hamster, know that they might hibernate. And you, just because they're not moving, mm-hmm. don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't throw the hamster out with the winter. On the same topic, you know what I saw? You know what my hamsters did? You know what I saw with my own two very fucking they young eyes? Mama, th- that mother ate those children up. Yeah. Uh, ate those red little babies up. Chomp, they chomp, do it. chomp. Especially if you touch them before they're- With a nice Chianti If you touch fava the, beans. the pink babies before they've grown a little bit, the don't mom t- will eat them. Don't touch the pink or they'll end up in the stink. Yeah. Or like birds. Birds will um just lay eggs- hormonally and sometimes they'll get egg bound where they have an egg and it won't come out and they have basically like horrible stomach aches and die mama that's the two 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 eggs french toast and bacon at the at the beachwood cafe yeah so birds mary i'm up at my perch right on the third level i'm up there gooning sunset wise sunrise whatever you have the birds up there sweetie the bird watching the ornithology taking place the owls up the- we were up there and it was like Hoot. it's it's literally <laughs> a cartoon 
hoot. With a crisp it's like, tea. It's like, my name is Robert. I'm hiding <laughs> in a tree and I'm doing an impression of an owl. <laughs> yeah. Hoot. Hi, my name's Robert. I'm reading. I'm 36 years old. Yeah. I'm reading for the role of but, yeah, owl. An owl in, um, in, in the owl series. Hoot. No, it was, it was more like, honestly, hoot. <laughs> it was like... It was like it was not convincing. A human inflection. Like you're it gonna was turn crazy. on the you're gonna turn on floodlight back there and see some yeah. guy up there. It's gonna be um it's gonna be a hereditary out there. Yeah. Some naked man holding his weenie going, hoot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But hawks, Mary. Hawks and eagles up there. Scary. Impressive. Awe inspiring. I'm talking wind wind span wingspans at least I think I'd be this big. Wow. Because they're in the distance over by Runyon. And you can see them full size. So you're well, like I see them like in the in the distance this big. I'm like, Mama, that's a big fucking bird. Yeah, bitch. And she is just like a quarter mile away and they look that big. Honey, yeah. they look they look just as big as airplanes from Bur- Burbank Airport. Yeah. It's like it's truly gaggable. And I'm and I'm watching them and I'm like, oh my God, this is the most beautiful thing in the world. I would to be a bird to be an apex pet, predator bird up there with not only x-ray vision, but vision so piercing that you can like see just hundreds and hundreds of feet down and then just swoop down using wind power, just oh, yeah. catching the glide and then snatch. And then it's so cunty. And it's so cunty. Us. Of course. They're flying up there like, y'all are fucking your Sweet. planet up. Yeah, I'll still like, be here. They're like, mama, we were, just, we were doing different stratospheres up here. Totally. Different oxygen levels. I know. Mama, we're traveling south. We're you know going, those we're, big we're ones swoop down and steal people's dogs in LA? I know. Chihuahuas and stuff? Little babies too. My mom, my well, mom raised by wolves and I would, I would say we're towards the end here. I would say come see us live, but our ticket sales are like 99%. So obviously y'all already know that. So thank I you very know, much. It's so tough, you know, in this, in this trying, I'm not going to be smart me about it. Um, I'm very grateful. Yeah, I am. The fact I, that we are going out, we don't have to promote it all. I'm just like, it's, all it's, right, see you hordes there. I know. And also it, it, let's not, let's not get it twisted. Those last two shows in um, New Orleans and um, uh, uh, Houston. Probably best. Uh, so, so fun. So fucking fun. So fucking fun. I, well, we've been telling uh, stories now that what you guys, the live pods, when we're not recording, we tell stories out of school, out of pocket. Out we are, of we're hundred percent out of pocket. We got both pockets out. It's red. The red stage. I'll probably stage tell that story. Yeah. I won't let you. I won't let you. <laughs> I won't let you. I'll do it. Be the red muzzle talk. But, but it was, I had, I got in the bathtub after that and I was like, not only do I love my life. Am I a Nikki fan? I'm like, I was just like, I was just like so filled with gratitude and was drowned in the tub twice. I was until we arrived at 1.30 and I couldn't check in until 4.30. That's tough. That My That's gratitude tough. came to a screeching halt. Oh my God, I didn't tell about my... um. Well, uh, stay tuned for the next episode where I will discuss the fact that I got a massage by a man with a silicone dick. Fierce. Bye. <laughs>